so if you want some information on how to restore uh, a pinball ramp plastic one you know um, so this one is a plastic uh, pinball ramp uh, from a Williams Comet 1985 and as you can see it's it is fairly fairly transparent now and it use uh, it wasn't like this uh, a few hours ago so first of all um, and this is the worst part because I actually not damaged really but you can see there is some um, how can I say that maybe with the reflection on it you can see that it's not straight anymore uh, that's a bit unfortunate, but I think it will be okay, you know, and that is because I put a lot of heat on it I use um, a rework station uh, at 350c and um, I've gently moved quite fast with uh, the hot hand in the, in the in the end and I've moved it I've moved quite fast and the plastic became a bit transparent again so then uh, I use um, a cleaning cloth like uh, one you use for glass glasses um, and um, I've put some uh, mirror on it uh, it's called mirror it's basically it's a fine polish but I think you could do with car polish as well as long as it's really fine you know that's a mirror and you know what? It has never been this much transparent before. We have to remember that um, uh, when I got the machine, the ball was absolutely destroyed, and it absolutely destroyed all the ramp on it. So, getting something that is as transparent as this, um, it's it's amazing. Yeah, um, it had some deformation due to the heat, but it's fairly minor you can only see this with reflection you know and i don't think the ball on it because it's fairly yeah it's really smooth i don't think it it will have any impact uh, with the ball on it so maybe it will scratch up easier a bit i don't know it, it was not transparent enough uh, maybe i could have only done this uh yeah there is still some scratches but you know uh, you cannot remove uh, all the scratches on it uh, but it's it's fairly it's fairly great now, and the reason I did that um, it's because you have uh, you have to have this as transparent as you can, simply because this cover up those four lights that you have to light up as uh, 1986. So when the ramp is in place like that, uh, it cover it up. So before it was when I got the machine you cannot see the light through it and then um, I polished it with uh, Belgium Chrome and it was a bit better but now you can see like you can see through it quite nicely and you can even make up the numbers so I guess I will put a final coat of polish in it and um, and then uh, yeah and then I've been on with it and also yeah I've damaged it a bit here it was cracked already but um, I will fix that up it's it's the heat that did that but uh, you know I will fix that up and look at that look at how transparent it is you can really see the play field through it wow that's that's really great you know and as for the ramp they hold up pretty well yep they did all the pretty well. Uh, my 3D printed parts, same thing. I've removed the ramp in the beginning just to get access to the pop bumper because I want to clean them. Also, um, I just read on the coin door, the coin, the co not the coin door, unfortunately, the, the coin uh, box door, sorry. And it's right there just banded it up I have to put a bit of polish in it and I put a clear coat in it but it's way better than <laughs> it used to be so now I have to do this because there was a stick here as, as you can see so yeah I will clean that as well and 
Yeah, uh, I have to change the general illumination connector, but I don't have them at the moment, uh, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, other than that, you know, I've put back, I've put back the uh, resistor here, the original one from the machine, and it's working okay. Yeah, I have to change the battery, I know, but they are still holding okay, and they are not leaking at the moment, so uh, I will do that uh, soon, but uh, I'm not too worried about. And also that <laughs> bad job, you know, that has been here for 10 years, and I got the machine, like, almost 10 years now, it's 9 years, yeah. Um, I have to check some capacitors on it. Oh, yeah, and also I redo the... Uh, the plunger as well, right there, it's all cleaned up, uh, I took it all apart and cleaned it, and uh, yeah, there is, there is some play in it, but unfortunately the plastic sleeve uh, have to be replaced it because it was scratched up, but other than that, you know, and it's not a, like there is a lot of play in it, it's, it's kind of okay, you know, so yeah, going really, really well in this. Actually, it's it looks cleaner in reality than what I'm seeing on my phone. Like um, there is a lot of debris in it that I don't see with my eyes. Um, but I've removed all the um, soldering iron, like uh, the um, uh, uh, I don't remember you say that. Huh, sorry. Well, basically um, the solder. There was some solder that went on the plywood here, so I, I remove it all. And I clean all the transformers, the cable and everything. They are all nice and shiny now. And yeah, it's it's coming along pretty well, you know. Like I said, 1985 pinball. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> and yeah, I should have, I should clean that as well. It's a bit climate, you know, could be better, I think. Oh, I could put some brass polish on the, on the tilt as well. And uh, unfortunately there is some like stains that I can't get rid of on the wood, but uh, 1985 again. The speakers is good and I've checked that uh, the membrane is still okay. The the rubber band around it, it's, it's fine, so... I don't know <laughs> why it's still okay, but you know, it's it's fine, so I won't replace them. And and the cabinet itself, you know, it's not that great, but not that bad either. Eh, I think it's kind of average for this game, and yeah, uh, the older legs have a little dress in it, but I will clean that up and paint it. <laughs> Put a bit of paint in it, and we'll, you won't see that anymore. But yeah... Oh yeah, the coin, the two other coin maker are on the way. By the by the way, so yeah, great. See you in my next video.